What's up, y'all? It's been a little bit. Welcome back. I've been gone for a little bit, a week or two. Took a little hiatus. Just kidding. I got high again on some weed pills. And that made me super lazy, and I just didn't feel like making videos. But here I am now, sober and full of energy and freaking out, so. Oh. The main thing is, I haven't stopped watching flicks. So, welcome back to Faux on the Flicks. In this one, we're going to be reviewing the new Netflix movie with Jamie Foxx called Day Shift. I just watched it like two days ago. It was super great. I mean, it's not like a phenomenal movie. It's not awesome. I mean, it is awesome. Action's awesome. It's not like a top tier movie, though. But it's not a B level movie either. It's really good uh, for like what it is comedy, action, vampires. That's the main thing here. I love vampire shit. And this was a just another great addition to a vampire catalog. So let's get into it. The premise is a hard-working dad out to provide for his daughter uses a boring pool cleaning job as a front for his real gig. Hunting and killing vamps. It got a 58% Rotten Tomatoes. And I'm going to give it a 65%. Um... I liked it, 84% Google users liked it, 6.8 IMBD, 7 out of 10 IGN, and the cast, it's got some really good actors in it, actresses, oh my god, Megan, good, she's still bad as ever, man, I mean, that ass shot they give her is just, made me want to cry, starring Jamie Foxx as Bud Jablonski, Dave Franco as Seth, Carla Souza as the head vampire lady. Snoop Dogg, he's a cowboy killer. Big John Elliott, Megan Good, she's so bad. Uh, Natasha Liu Bordizo is Heather. I don't even remember seeing her for real. Oh yeah, dude, she's the chick. Uh, then we got Scott Atkins, Steve Howey, dude from Shameless is in it. He's one of the Nazarian brothers, which are like this badass brother uh, brothers who kill vampires and shit and they're just fucking super super badass <laughs> they did some crazy shit man for action alone this is definitely worth the watch and don't let me forget Oliver Masuki he plays Klaus and uh, he's also a great actor he's in Dark He's in Dumbledore, Secrets of Dumbledore. He's the Anton guy, the German guy. He's been in a lot of stuff. Tribes of Europa, really great actor. I was super pleased to see him in this American film because he's a German actor. But yeah, he's one of the, he's like the right-hand man vampire. So yeah, basically, it's not, it's not a very original idea, but it is pretty cool. He is... Jamie Foxx is a vampire hunter and there's like a union where you can turn in the fangs of the vampires you kill and get paid for them but he has been kicked out of the union at the beginning of the movie and he's in a very bad predicament because his wife Megan Good is about to leave him and take her daughter their daughter with her to Florida and he obviously doesn't want that he loves his daughter he wants her there and I think LA yeah LA California is where they live and where the movie takes place which is pretty cool and uh, Seth Dave Franco he brings the comedy in this and it's just fucking great I mean I'm not gonna spoil anything but if you like Dave Franco if you've seen him in 21 Jump Street and shit like that you know he's a hilarious actor I know his brother James is going through some weird shit right now. I guess he's a pedophile. I don't know anything about it, but I've heard something like that. Hope it's not true because I really like Dave Franco too. I mean James Franco. But yeah, Dave Franco's in it. He plays his typical nerdy persona, like a dweeb dork, who is a... He's like a receptionist at the Vampire Union, and he's tasked with following Bud on his vampire hunts as Bud is like given one more chance to join the union so he can make the big bucks on the fangs so he can pay for his child child's tuition and whatever braces to make 
to make her stay. I mean, it's got some flaws in it, lots of flaws. That's why I give it a 65% because it's like, there's lots of times where the vampires could easily just killed him and his whole family, but for movie reasons, they stretch it out and it's like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to give it away, but yeah, definitely recommend it. It was a funny ass movie, fun thrill ride to watch, great pace. I mean, overall, it was just a really good film. And uh, I was excited to see it came out on Netflix. And I'll fucking watch it instantly. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you like Day Shift, the new Jamie Foxx movie. Um, and like I said, on the faux scale, I'm going to give it a 65%. Which is a low rating for such a movie I liked so much. But like I said, there were some like technical flaws in it. But it's not really matter. It was a good movie. It's fun. I definitely recommend it. Check it out if you already have. Let me know what you thought. And if you haven't, do so because it's definitely worth the watch. Alright, that's Fallen the Flicks Day Shift Review. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.